Hi, for this video what I want to do is talk about the intersection of sets. Um, the intersection means the overlap between two values, so that means that those values must be both in A and B. So if you see an upside down U, um, you would read it as and, and a lot of times the way that I remember that is that I can turn this into an A for and. So if you can think of this as an upside down A, if you put a line through it, it'll help you remember that it's and. If it's a U or opens upwards, remember that is the union and then it's read it as or. So what we're going to do, and one thing that I wanted to make sure to remind you is that if you see a prime, that is the notation for the complement. That means that it's not in whatever set is listed here. Um, another notation that I've seen in other textbooks is you could put a tilde in front of it and this is also read as not A and can represent the complement. So depending upon the textbook that you use, um, either one of these symbols could be used for the complement. So if your textbook uses this, just everywhere that I have in this example would be A prime or A not in A is how you would read it. Okay, so what I have here is I have a universal set that contains the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So basically just 1 through 8. Um, A is the set 1, 2, and 5. B is the set 2, 4, and 7. So for the first one, what we're looking at here is A and B, which means that it's in both A and B. So we're looking for all values in these two sets right here that are the same. So as you can see, the only thing that isn't the same in both of them is the two. So the answer to this one, A and B, is going to be the set containing the value two. If there was nothing in common, you would just put the empty set, but this one does have something in common. So moving to the next one. So for this one, what we have is we have, again, the same numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Um, set A is the numbers one, two, and five. Set B is the numbers two, four, and seven. And we're looking for the values that are in A and not in B. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to take this set right here and we have to find its complement. So what we're going to do is we're gonna look at the universal set and we're gonna find all of the values that don't show up here. So basically what I can do is I can eliminate the two, four, and the seven. Those are the numbers that are in B to find the complement. So that would tell us that the complement of B is one, three, five, six, and eight. And now what we would do is we would take this set here, A, and this set here, and see what do they have in common. So we can see that both of them have a one, and both of them have a five. So since they have a one and five in common, we can say that the answer to A and not in B is equal to one and five. Okay, um, for the next one, we have, this is read as in not in A and B. So we're looking for all values that are not in both A and B. So the first thing that you would do is you would find um, the intersection of A and B. So if we find A and B first, Remember, that's what do A and B have in common. So A and B have two in common. And so for this one, what we would do is then after we find this part here, we would find the complement. So we would look for all values. Sorry about that. Fix that. Okay. So we would look for all values that are not in both A and B. So that basically leaves everything else. So the only one that's in both of them is two. So everything else in the universal set would be contained in not in A and B. So one, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight would be our answer. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or need um, help on additional topics, please let me know.